Well, look, I'll I'll answer the question in two ways, you know, like what it's like to be a woman boss in my industry, which I've only experienced for two years, you know, I'm still at the beginning, I think of my senior management career in journalism, but I will say, um, I work for Daphna Linzer, who's an executive editor at Politico. She's only been there for six months, but the previous executive editor at Politico was also a woman. And I really believe that has an incredibly positive effect on the dynamics of an industry that can be very aggressive. And I don't wanna get into gender norms here by saying that women can't be aggressive. I'm very aggressive. <laughs> Nonetheless, you know, I think there's, there's an emotional intelligence that comes from women bosses in the news industry. I'm proud to be a part of, of that dynamic. And I think that's being more and more recognized. And I have pulled up a deputy who is 10 years younger than me, who has the same emotional intelligence. and. I am happy to see more news organizations prize that. It's not to say that men don't have it. It's just that women, in my view, have it more readily in terms of managing people who are really prone to burnout, who deal with some incredibly stressful and challenging situations. But then the other way to answer your question is is women in power in Congress, right? And I have to say it's it's been really gratifying to be part of discussions about like, in particular, I'm thinking of Nancy Pelosi and Kirsten Sinema, like how to write about women who wield power. One of my favorite stories to edit and assign was when two of my reporters got offered sit down time with Senator Sinema, who is notoriously hush hush, doesn't doesn't really grant these types of interviews that Joe Manchin gives every day. And I said, and my my senior reporter, my bureau chief is a man and he didn't want to ask this question. I said, you've got to ask her how people write about her clothes and how she feels about that. And she gave an incredibly revealing answer about people's focus on her appearance to the detriment of what she's doing. So I think that part of the good thing about women wielding power is because the emotional intelligence lets you kind of go there and talk a little bit more about this stuff. Not everybody's willing to do that, but I'm glad that we are the people who work under me. 